Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Cubing Edition, Episode 2. So today, our contestants are a YouTuber known as The Programming Cuber. Hello. And another YouTuber known as NoobCube. Hello there, nubs. And our audience today is made up of none other than the Rubik's Cube. Don't hate, appreciate. So, without any further ado, we're gonna get started with the $100 question. For $100, in which century was the Rubik's Cube released? A. The 1700s B. The 1800s C. The 1900s Or D. The 2000s I will, uh, I think we should go with C. 1900s C? Is that your final answer? Yes. That is correct! Yay! For $200, which of these colors is not adjacent to blue on the standard sticker scheme? Is it A. White B. Red C. Yellow Or D. Green I guess I'll take this one since Brandon took the last one. Um, again, this this one's pretty tough too, but uh, just trusting my instincts here, I think it's probably D green. I agree. D green, is that your final answer? Yes. That is correct. For $300, which of these is a 5x5 five five version of a Megamix? Is it A, Kilomix, B, Gigamix, C, Teramix, or D, Pyramix? Brandon, do you want to take this one? Do you know this one? Um, I don't know why I'm stupid with this one. <laughs> I can't think of this, um, and I should Oh, be... it's B, Gigamix. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, that's what I was thinking. Is that your final answer? B, Gigamix? Yes. Mm -hmm. For $300, that is correct! Which of these is a club run by Uwe Meffer? Is it A, the Jade Club, B, the Amethyst Club, C, the Opal Club, <laughs> or D, the Rubik's Club? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Brandon can take so it. So <laughs> that would be A, the Jade Club. A, Jade Club? Is that your final answer? Yes. For $500? That is correct! Yay! If just two tips are left unsolved on a pyramid at the end of an attempt, what is the penalty? Is it A, no penalty, B, plus two seconds, C, plus four seconds, or D, DNF? Now keep in mind, if you get this question right, you can't leave with less than a thousand dollars. This is a milestone question. I'm pretty sure this is a DNF. I agree. That's definitely a DNF. <laughs> DNF, is that your final answer? Yes. For one thousand dollars? That is correct! So now you can't leave with less than a thousand dollars. For two thousand dollars, GANS 356 is what number in the GANS 3 series? Is it A, second? B, third, C, fourth, or D, fifth? It's- it's fourth. There's the first Gans and the Gans V2, Gans uh, V3 with the fifth. That's why I was confused. I was- I was thinking there was like something else besides the Gans and Gans V2. Okay, yeah, then it's definitely that. Fourth? Is that your final answer? Yes. Yes. And that is correct, you won $2,000. Yay! For $4,000. Which of these continents has the third fastest 3x3 single continental record? Is it A, Oceania, B, Europe, C, Asia, or D, South America? Obviously, number one would be North America, because Colin Burns. Number two is now Felix after Worlds, because he got the 5.39, so number three would be Mats, which is- Europe. Well, yeah, that one, I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, so B, Europe. <laughs> B, Europe, is that your final answer? Yes. And for $4,000, that is correct! Now, for $8,000, which of these is not a sticker shade on the cubicle.us? Is it A, grass green, B, lime green, C, sky blue, or D, ocean blue? Okay, Do you wanna um, take this? Wait, do you know this? I'm not a big sticker person, oh, but- Oh, well, it's I lime green. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, wait, because it would be for us in green, right? Is is B, lime green, your final answer? Yes. Yes. You just won $8,000. Now, for $16,000, how long apart were the removal of magic and the addition of skew as events? Is it A, six months, 
B, one year, C, two years, or D, no time? Well, I'm pretty sure it's one year, but... Oh, well, I'm, I'm thinking it wouldn't sure. be too much time. I know Magic was removed in 2013, and Skew was added at the beginning of 2014. So Skew was definitely added, like, January 1st, 2014. Like that's, Okay, that's a I'll agree with you with that. I, I remember I don't remember like if Magic was removed at the beginning or in the middle of 2013, though. But it'll probably... Oh, well, oh, yeah. Should we do 50-50? No, I don't... Maybe we should do 50-50 for that, then. Maybe. So, you have three lifelines throughout this game. They are 50-50, Ask the Audience, and Phone a Friend. 50-50 is where two incorrect choices are moved, leaving you with one wrong and one right. Phone a Friend is where you phone Adam, and you can talk to him about the answer. And Ask the Audience is where you ask Adam, and he'll help you figure out the answer. And Adam is allowed to search these things on the internet if he needs to. So, um, knowing our luck, it'll probably remove C and D, but I think this is, this is the appropriate time to use that, Okay, so. we'll, we'll use 50-50. Yeah. So they've elected to use the 50-50. Computer, take away two wrong answers. And it has left B, one year, and C, two years. Then it'd be one year. Yeah, we are going with B. I'm pretty- Magic was not removed in 2012. <laughs> so, is B, one year, your final answer? Yes. Yes. We'll find out if that's right when we come back! Introducing the Rubik's Stand. It can display all your puzzles, including the Maru Nano Cube, the YJ Moyu Dodecahedron Magic Cube, the Floppy Cube. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. So, why make your cubes look like this when they could look like this? To order your Rubik's Stand today, call 1-800-555-SCAM. Once again, that's 1-800-555-SCAM. Call tomorrow. And we're back! So Allison and Brandon have chosen to go with B one year for this question. Now let's see if they're right. That is your final answer, correct? Yes. That is correct! You've won $16,000! Yay! Now this is the $32,000 question, and similarly to the $1,000 question, if you pass this one correctly, you will leave with no less than $32,000. So this is an important question. Which of these averages would be closest to 1,000th in the world for 3x3? Three three? Is it A, 9 seconds, oh my God. B, 10 seconds, C, 11 seconds, or D, 12 seconds? It's not 9 seconds, because 9 seconds is top 100. Um, I don't think it's 12 seconds. It could be. Actually, it could be, but I don't, I'm not sure about it. Damn it, why don't I remember my rank? I should I need to remember my rank. This would be so good. You don't remember? Oh, that would be good. I have a 13 good. average. Then if I were to remember my, my rank on WCA. Do you remember around where your rank was? No. Or? Actually, oh. the last time I knew my rank was for my 11 single, which placed me at like 2,000. <laughs> yeah. If we're having trouble with this, then we're, we're screwed. So the questions have been getting a little harder for them. Now, might I remind them that at any time in the game, they can walk away with the money they've earned so far, but that's probably not the smartest thing to do if they have lifelines. So, they have those two lifelines. Alright, not 9, we've eliminated A. I don't think I don't think it's, think it's B. I don't think it's 10. I have a feeling it's 11, but it could be 12. But technically it could be 10 too. Well, also 9, but we don't think so at all. Oh, no, no, it's definitely not 9. It's definitely not, exactly. I've, like, I'm just looked at top 100 for 3 by 3 average, I'm pretty sure 9 was like... in the top 100. Yeah. Uh, and if not, very close to it. You know, it's probably 11 in my opinion, but... So it's not 9, and I doubt it's 10, because I don't think there's that many people with 10 second averages. I, I have a feeling it's 11, right? I really think it's a. I think it might be 11, too. Do you want to risk it? Oh, we should probably use a lifeline. Okay, fine, we'll so, use it. So one. the real tough decision is, do we call- do we call a friend or do we ask the audience? <laughs> Let's ask the audience. So, Allison and Brandon have decided to ask the audience for this question because it's been giving them some trouble. 
So, audience, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. So, the audience has voted 100% for D and 0% for A, B, and C. So, there is a vast majority leaning towards D 12 seconds. So now it's Allison and Brandon's decision for if they want to go with that. I think we're gonna go with D 12 seconds. Y yeah, we should. Is D 12 seconds your final answer? Mm hmm. The audience was unanimous. They all said 12. Let's see if that's correct. For $32,000, which you'll get to keep no matter what. That is correct! Congratulations! For $64,000, which of these cubes is the most expensive at thecubicle.us? Is it A, the Moyu cube? B, the Shangshou skew, C, the Lanlan skew, or D, the QJ skew. Um, um. Now I know for sure the Lanlan skew is probably the cheapest, or like one of the cheapest. I'm. I remember the Shangshou skew being like ten bucks, and the Moyu skew is like twelve, I think. But I don't know how much the QJ skew is. That's the tough thing. I don't. I feel mean, QJ like is pretty cheap. Yeah, aren't they usually? How much was the QJPR makes when we got it? When you guys got it for them? It was like or, eight uh, bucks. Okay, then that's cheap for yeah. the Pyramix, isn't it? Yeah. And in quality as well. I, should we go with Moyuskew? I think I, we should. I would probably go with Moyuskew. Okay, you have you really have nothing to lose on this question because even if you get it wrong, you're still gonna leave with thirty two thousand dollars. Okay, then yeah, yeah, let's do it. I think we'll go with Moyu Cube. Yeah, let's go with Moyu Cube. Moyu Cube, is that your final answer? Yes. That is correct. You won sixty four thousand yes. dollars. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now for one hundred twenty five thousand dollars, an eighth of a million. In what event is this often used? Is it A, square one, B, three blinds, four blinds, five blinds, or multi blind? C, FMC, or D, seven by seven? FMC! Is FMC your final answer? Yes. Yeah. For $125,000. This is a lot of money. We'll find out if that's right when we come back! I need complete concentration! Guys. I have some words of advice for you. Now, I already mentioned that you should never hate, you should rather appreciate. But you should always never stress or else you'll make a mess. <laughs> and also, don't be dumb or you may lose your thumb. And one more, one more thing, don't be chicken or the plot may thicken. Thank you very much, and have a nice night. And we're back! So they have locked in with at C, FMC, for in what event or events is NIS most often used? Now let's see if that's correct for $125,000. That is correct! We won $125,000! Yeah. Now for a quarter of a million, $215,000. What is the title of Article 4 in the WCA regulations? Is it A. Oh my god, I should know this. B. Puzzles. C. Scrambling. Or D. Environment. I do not know this. Alright, I gotta remember this. So, I do not. I, I remember it's not officials. I don't think it's officials. I feel um, like scrambling was pretty far down last time I checked. Uh. Yeah, probably. And then I think it's either B or D. Uh, it could be. D, I don't but... remember puzzles being that high up. I feel like puzzles were kind of like. I was going through for our uh, M thing, and. Uh... I mean, I've been to four competitions, but I don't. It's I my don't... job to read the regulations, and I was reading for. I, I'm trying to remember. I think it was D. I really think it was. Okay, I, I would- I, th I think I remember environment being pretty high up too, so... Alright, I think we need to go with D. Yeah, D. So, is environment D your final answer? Yes. Yes! 
I'm sorry to say, guys, but that's not correct. You no. will see scrambling. You was scrambling. Oh. So you're gonna leave the show with thirty-two thousand dollars. That's the same thing that happens in the first episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Cubing Edition. But congratulations, that's still a lot. You made it pretty far in the game. So congratulations for winning thirty-two thousand uh, dollars. Alice and Ryan did a great job. Yay. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Cubing Edition. That's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. And if we get it wrong, then I am going to, like, hate everything. <laughs> oh, and I hate everything. <laughs> <laughs> if we get this wrong, I am going to hate everything. I'm going to hate everything. <laughs> <laughs>